tutorial, I'll go over how to use Schema App to mark up a hotel. So we're in Schema App and we're going to go to the Structured Data Editor. And we're going to type in hotel. Now, always good to know when you bring up, when it brings up hotel, sort of what other things, you know, so there is motel and resort, hostel, campground, and bed and breakfast. And it's important to pick the most specific type. In this case, we're going to mark up a hotel. So let's scroll down and click on the Create button. And we're going to do the Delta Hotel Guelph. And in the URI, you're going to put the URL of the hotel that you're marking up. So in this case, it's here, and we'll click OK. The URI is also the link that Schema App will use to deploy the JSON-LD that you're creating. Schema App will now show you all the properties available for a hotel. First, we're going to look at selecting an image. I usually like to pull this directly off the page. Uh, so in this case, it looks like you just have a, a bit of an ad. Oh, there's a picture there. So copy image address. Um, and go ahead and paste that in. Now, if you are do want to create an image object, you can do this here, or I'll show you how to use some of the schema app tools to do that faster. Next, you're going to add the address. So here we can see it's at the top here, 50 Stone Road West, Guelph, Ontario. So we'll add that in. and the country Canada. The logo also can be taken from the page. So in this case, it would be the Delta Hotels. We'll copy the image address here and paste that in. Selecting the external data item. And really what we're saying here is it's defined elsewhere, but because we're gonna turn it into an, an image object, uh, we'll be able to fix that. So next is the description. So Delta Hotel and Conference Center in Guelph. Um, and same as is if the hotel itself has any uh, social media profiles. So you can look to see here if there's anything that kind of calls out their social media profiles. Connect with us on Google Plus so you can see it's here. Um, and so we could just go ahead and you paste the URL. And this one is expecting a URL. Next is a contact point. So this is the different contact ways that you can contact the hotel. Think of this as department. So in a hotel it might be reservations or customer service would be two separate ones. So we'll create a data item and we'll call this one reservations. Now, I do like if there is a page that specifically has the reservation information, um, then you would put that there. In this case, I believe it's all directly on this page. So we'll look here. They have the one phone number, so we'll, we'll capture that. Um, and we'll go ahead and just click OK. So um, the other way to do it is if it's on the page, you can also take the main page you're sending the schema markup to and then do hashtag uh, reservations. And then this will actually deploy the schema markup for the contact point in addition to the hotel. Um, if you have multiple numbers, you can go ahead and create an additional one by clicking on the plus and then creating another data item. What we're going to do is after we've added the basic information, we're going to go back and add additional information to that contact point. Next um, additional type, if there's a certain thing you want to describe it further about what type of hotel it is, so maybe it's a boutique hotel or a modern hotel, you can use additional type and search for that specific definition in Wikipedia. Aggregate rating is another good one to add. So this is sort of the aggregate rating for the hotel. And again, it needs to be listed on the page. So here you can see it's 4.5 out of 5 based on 88 reviews. So we'll go review value is 4.5. Review count is 88. Best rating is a 5. Worst rating is a 1. And then it's looking for the URL and where that's found. So let's have a look here. Um, so it says read all reviews on this other page. So I'm going to go ahead and, and put the review URL there. Next, I want to call it as amenity feature. So this is specifically for hotels where you're actually saying what are the features at this location. So what we're going to do is we're going to add the first one and we're going to create a data item. Um, and what we're going to do is look on the page again. You'll see me always going back to the hotel page to say, what is it about it? So fitness center is one of the ones that they have here. So we'll call this fitness center. And you can add as many as you want. Um, so here we could put fitness center. Now, if you've done other hotels um, in your markup, uh, you can just type it in. So I have Wi-Fi already in there um, in, you know, in, in room. Uh, safe so you can reuse some of those data items. We'll go in and I'll show you fitness center is important that we're going to say that it's true um, and that it exists. Uh, next you can look at area served. So what is the area that it serves? So in this case uh, we would use Wikipedia and we'll type in Guelph 
and search there and you can see a city in Ontario. We'll come at this. You can also tie it to brand. So in this case, um, the Delta Hotels is part of the Marriott brand. Um, so if I'd added the Marriott brand previously, I would actually be able to go ahead and pull that up. If you haven't added it, you can just go ahead and create a data item and call it the Marriott. Um, and then Marriott likely has their own website. So we could just say Marriott Hotels. And I'm gonna pull in the Marriott website here to define um, the Marriott. And it's a, a type of, in this case, it'll be an organization. Um, so we'll click OK. Um, also, you can call out the check-in and check-out time here. So we'll assume that the check-in time is 3 o'clock. So you just can select this and then get rid of the date. Um, and then the check-out time is usually noon. So again, you'd pull that off the page and select those appropriate times. Contained in place and contains place. Um, so here you can actually call out if there's hotel rooms that you've defined. You can call those out contains place and then the different types of rooms. Um, so if we have, I think I have some in here, so traditional guest room, um, or if maybe it's a deluxe uh, deluxe room. So the different rooms, that, hotel rooms that you're adding, you can then add here for contains place. Um, and then you might also add the email, the fax number, um, the geo, the map, um, as well as uh, opening our specifications. And some of these you can follow the best practices in our ultimate guide. Uh, for doing local business markup. Um, two that you want to make sure that you have in here is the URL. So let's go ahead back here. We want to make sure we've pulled in that URL. And then what we can do is just have a look on the page to see, you know, is there anything else? So here's the room. So we want to contains place. We want to call out those hotel rooms. You can follow our, our hotel room uh, tutorial for this. You want to again call out those different amenities that are listed. Um, and we have the reviews and then we have the photos. So you can see that we have the majority of the information that's listed there. So what we're going to do is click on Save Changes. And I want to show you how you can set it to true for that amenity around the fitness center. So let's go here to the fitness center. And now it's going to open up this location feature specification and we're going to edit it. And the only thing you need to change here is the value is we're going to change to true. And then click on Save Changes. And we're going to go back to the Delta Hotel Guelph. And the other one we wanted to, to finish doing is, is around the, the, um, the contact point, so reservations. So the contact point is really where you put in the contact information for the location. So here we're going to say it's sales because it's reservations. Um, and there was a phone number here, which was 519-780-3700. There we go. So we're going to add that in. Um, and then the contact option, if it has hearing impaired support or toll free, you would you to select that there. And then the language is spoken at the location. So we're going to say English. It's in Canada, so they might also have French or they might have other language speakers. So you'd want to make sure you include that. And then again, the area served. Um, so we're going to specifically call out Guelph since that's the city that it's located in and that it serves. All right, so we're going to click on save. And so now we've added the majority of the Delta Hotel. Again, you can connect it with those hotel rooms. Um, always go back to what is listed on the page and then what you want to call out. Um, so here it does, you could add the geo for it. Um, and then uh, it might also have the, I believe it had a link to the map. So you could, there it is, map. So you could link it also to the HazMap. Now what I want to do is, is show you how to convert those um, images to image objects. So you're going to come over here to image repair. And you'll see here we're going to set up these two images. So we've gone ahead and done that. Um, and now we're done.